friends, good morning. Welcome back to Centum Academy. Today in this session we are going to discuss about resonance. Okay. In the previous session we have discussed what is you know GOC, what is inductive effect, and what are the applications of that. Okay. We have seen the different. Uh, there are two main applications of inductive effect, which is nothing but the uh, stability of intermediates, and the second thing is what acidity and basicity. Okay. So today in this session we are going to discuss the second type of electronic effects which is nothing but resonance. Okay? In this resonance only we will discuss mesomeric effect which we also call it as M effect or R effect, resonance effect. Okay? So resonance, so what is resonance first of all the question is. Okay? So resonance is what? The delocalization of pi electrons or lone pairs. Okay? So the resonance if I write down in one single line, resonance is the delocalization of pi electrons or lone pair pi electrons or lone pair of electrons okay you can also call it as the method of representation it is also we can also write it as resonance is the method of method of representation of one molecule or ion one molecule or ion into more than one more than one structural units more than one structural units and what is the difference in all these structural units let's learn right here in which in which the position of position of pi electrons and lone pair and lone pair are different okay the different structural units that we you know draw here for a given molecule or ion in all those structural units the position of pi electrons and lone pairs are different okay that's the difference we have here in all these structures, okay? And all these structural units, okay? All these structural units, we give it a specific name. So these structural units, we call it as uh, resonance structure, resonance structure, or we also call it as canonical structure. Resonance structure or canonical structure. Resonance structure in short because we'll use this term everywhere in this particular session. So from now onwards, resonance structure will write it as RS. Okay, so whenever I write RS, it means I am referring to resonance structure. Okay. So for example, if I write down few examples here and then we'll see some more detail of we'll do the some some more detailed discussion of this resonance thing. So what is the meaning of this uh, uh, thing that I have written over here? Method of representation of one molecular ion into more than one structural units. Okay. So to understand this, let us take an example. Okay. So the first example I am taking here is one this one. CH3, C double bond O, O minus. Okay. CH3. C double bond O, O minus. Now you see the another structure of this, which is the resonating structure, we can draw like this. 
what happens, this lone pair on electrons comes over here and this pi electron will jump onto this oxygen. Okay? So the another form of this, we can write it as CH3 CO minus double bond O. Right? This is the another structure. One more structure if I write here, that is, suppose benzene if I write. Right? Benzene. Now in this, the structure of benzene is this, we have alternate pi bond present. Okay, now if I number these carbon atoms, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so in this, if I write down the another structure of benzene ring, which is nothing but this, where the position are the same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here, the double bond is present here. Right? This is the double bond present. So these two are also resonating structure of each other. Okay? What is the difference in these two structures? We have double bond present between one and first and second carbon atom. And here we have single bond between first and second carbon. Okay? So these two are the resonating structure. We can also take one more example of carbonate ion. Okay? Carbonate ion is what? C double bond O O minus O minus Okay? So we can draw three resonating structure of this. In first one what happens? This electron pairs comes over here. This pi electron will go onto this oxygen atom. So carbon O minus double bond O, single bond O, minus. Another structure what we can draw? That this pi electron comes, lone pair comes over here and this pi electron will go on to this oxygen atom. C, single bond O minus, double bond O, single bond O minus. Okay? So all these are resonating structures. Okay? So like this we draw the resonating structure. So these are the few examples. You see, you now you, if you analyze all these structure one by one, okay? The position of lone pair and pi electron is different here. Here, suppose if I write down, this is the first oxygen and this is the second oxygen. Right? So we have double bond between carbon and first oxygen. Here we have single bond. So position of pi electron is different. Right? Here the position of pi electron between first oxygen and carbon. Here between second oxygen and carbon. Okay? The position of pi electron is different. The resonating structure. Okay? Position of double bond between first and second. 3rd and 4th, 5th and 6th, right? Here we have 2 and 3, 4 and 5, 6 and 1. So again the position of pi electron is different, okay? If it is 1st oxygen, 1st, 2nd and 3rd, this is also 1st, 2nd and 3rd, 1st, 2nd and 3rd. So again here also if you see, the position of pi electron is different in all these structures, okay? So all these structures we call it as a resonating structure, okay? Now, there are a few characteristics, like how do we know that the given molecule will uh, exhibit resonance, okay, and resonance possible in the given molecule, okay. There are a few characteristics that you have to uh, keep in mind, you have to keep in mind then only you can understand the resonating structure, uh, that like the resonating structure, resonance is possible or not in the given molecule, okay. So, we'll come to this example again. First, let me write what all the characteristics of resonance we have, okay. So, I'll write down characteristics first characteristics okay the molecular ion whatever it is it must be planar or i'll write down system system must be planar and conjugated we'll discuss what is this conjugated system okay later on after this actually Second characteristics is what? Second characteristics, the position of atom is not changing. Okay, so I'll write down the position of position of atoms and sigma electrons are. 
fixed. Position of atoms and sigma electrons are fixed. Okay. The position of pi bonds and lone pair are interconvertible. Position of pi bonds and lone pair are are interconvertible. Okay. Third point is what? Sorry, next point is what? Sigma electron has nothing to do with resonance. Okay. So sigma electron does not take part. Does not take part in resonance. Okay. Next one. All resonating structures. All resonating structure RS. All resonating structure contributes. to the real structure and that's why we also call it as contributors right contributors next point is what the resonating structure which is rs does not explain does not explain all properties of the molecule or ion okay so all the resonating structure that you are drawing here this does not explain the properties all the properties of the molecule or ion right so these are the characteristics of resonance okay so there are two three uh, you know things that i have used in, uh, used over here one is planet that you already know. The molecule must be in the same plane. Okay? And it must be conjugated. Resonance is only possible when the system is conjugated in planet. Okay? Otherwise, it is not possible. Okay? Second thing that I have used here is this contributors. RS contributes to the radial structure. RS does not explain all the properties of the molecule. Okay? So what is the meaning of this one that all RS contributes to the real structure? Okay, what is the meaning of this? You see, if I take this example, this one and this one, okay, so it has few properties and this molecule has few properties, okay, and this is not the actual structure of this ion, right, acetate ion it is, CS3COO minus, this is also acetate ion, but none of these, you know, molecule represents the actual structure of the acetate ion okay so what is the actual structure first of all right so to understand the actual structure i'll take the example of this benzene ring you must have seen that the benzene ring has the structure of benzene ring given in the book is like this we have a ring and there is a ring within it okay so what is the meaning of this you know the ring that we have here it represents the electron cloud okay so if, if you actually see the structure of this benzene ring okay so in this ring what happens we'll have an electron suppose we have a cyclohexane like this okay here so we have a ring above this plane of this ring we have a pi electron like this and we have a pi electron like this also so the electron cloud is present above this ring also and below this ring also Okay, so this is the actual structure. If I draw the ring here, it is a three dimensional structure. You have to analyze this. We have an electron cloud over this ring, and we have an electron cloud here also. All these things are the electron cloud. This is also electron cloud. Okay, so the point is if I talk about the bond between first and second carbon, okay, here it is double bond, and here it is single bond. So which one of these structure you will take? Okay, so that's the question because we know these two structures are not the real structure. So what we can say that this electron cloud is all this pi electron cloud is distributed over this entire molecule, right? Like this means what? This pi electron is delocalized here. It is continuously moving from one carbon atom to another carbon atom. 
You see, if this pi electron comes over here, we will get a negative sign here. This pi electron goes here. Here we have negative, here we have positive. So this negative positive forms a pi bond. Similarly, we have a pi bond here and here. And we will get this structure. Okay, so none of these structures are the real structure. So depending on the delocalization of pi electron, we'll draw the hybrid structure of the molecule. Okay, the hybrid structure of this molecule is nothing but this structure, which actually represents the delocalization of pi electron over the molecule. Okay, so in this case, what happens? All these pi electrons, six pi electron, two, four, six, two, four, six, six pi electrons are equally distributed over the entire molecule like this and is continuously moving over the entire molecule like this okay here also it will be like this so none of these structure has is the actual structure the actual structure is nothing but this or this okay if if i ask you what is the bond order of carbon first and second carbon the bond order between these two carbon is what it is between 2 and 1 right the average of that okay so it will be 1.5 so the carbon carbon bond has has bond order which is equals to 1.5 it neither has single bond nor has double bond okay this is because of resonance okay so all these structures we call it as contributors okay so both of these uh, resonating structures contributes to the real structure and the real structure of engineering is this not this one okay now the question is why do we use this structure in representing the reaction of benzene ring okay because you know for reactions we require static electrons okay we don't have we cannot show that delocalized electron in the reaction okay so to represent the reaction we use resonating structure not the real structure okay and all these resonating structures are contributors why contributors because they contributes towards the to the what the real structure of the molecule okay suppose one molecule has three resonating structure here so all these resonating structures will contribute to the real structures and with this you know uh, combination we'll get the real molecule which has a definite properties so the real molecule will take few properties of this this and this so the real molecules will take property from each of its resonating structure okay it is possible that all resonating structures will contribute equally to the resonance hybrid or the real structure real structure we also call it as resonance hybrid okay so both are the same thing so it is possible that all resonating structures contributes equally to the real hybrid or it is also possible that few structures will contribute more and few resonating structure will contribute less less okay so in case of more contributing structures we call those structures as major contributors okay and the structures or resonating structures which contributes lesser that those structures we call it as minor contributors so the contributors are also two types major or minor okay it depends on the stability of all those resonating structure okay more stable resonating structure will contribute more to the resonance hybrid less stable will contribute less that's the point so we'll see that stability part also of the resonating structure okay now for this example you see if you have to draw the resonating structure of this molecule that will be this ch3 co o and since the pi electron is delocalized from 1 to 2 first to second oxygen via this carbon so it is delocalized like this we have a pi electron like this okay so here we have partial negative charge here we have partial negative charge okay this also you can draw the delocalization of pi electron like this okay so like this we draw the real structure of the molecule okay so we'll come to this part again uh, this contributors part that which one is major contributor or minor contributors okay and you have to memorize this the major contributors are those those, those contributors which is more stable and those contributors contributors will contribute more into the resonating hybrid okay so we'll come to this part again now the next thing we'll see first that uh, where this resonance is possible what are the condition what is the conjugated system okay like i said in conjugated system only resonance is possible so in this how do we identify the structure is conjugated that's we are going to discuss now okay